Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. Um, so yesterday when I uploaded the how to make your own custom uh, comic book template, I, I wanted uh, to see if there was a way to export uh, your comic book template but ignore some of the white space that goes beyond the bleed zone. I wanted to see if that was possible. So if you didn't see the um, how to create your own comic book template um, video, I'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can click and see how you can make your own custom comic book template uh, for any size comic book. Um, so I'm going to use the same dimensions that I used in the previous uh, video tutorial. So my comic book is a, a six by nine uh, comic book and the, the bleed width will be 0.125 inches, but because uh, uh, Clip Studio Paint only does two decimal places, it rounded up to 0.13, no problem. Um, and so the default border or the inside border is uh, 0 0.25 inches uh, from the six uh, and nine inch. So remember you have to uh, multiply that 0 0.25 by 2 because you have one on each side the left and right and you have it on top and the bottom um, again watch the previous video which I will link in the description so you can uh, find out how you can get these dimensions for any size comic book that you want to make now the one thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to make the canvas uh, pretty much the paper um, bigger uh, than the actual comic book page just so I can have some space so maybe I want to write some notes or create a color palette or just you know maybe do some uh, test out my brushes like when I set up my brushes just extra space for me to work so um, I'm going to make the canvas 11 inches by 15 inches I'm going to hit OK. And so this is uh, what it generates, right? Now, it was kind of hard to see the, um, the actual blue lines in the video. So what I'm going to do is really quickly um, just color the, the borders. They're not exact, but um, it'll be a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to make the bleed. Um, red I will make where the trim or in this case when where the green meets the red that is the trim line which means that's where the comic book printers will cut and everything in the red will be lost um, everything in the green is not guaranteed that it will be printed but it might so just be aware of that and then of course everything in the blue is safe so keep all your artwork and your text and your um, explosion uh, letterings and stuff like that all that stuff keep it keep it in here if you want it guaranteed to be safe now so in the uh, previous video again it'll be linked in the description below um, I exported this uh, drawing and let's in fact let's do that real quick uh, remember if um, most on-demand printers require either a TIFF file or a PDF file um, currently Clip Studio Paint cannot export in PDF so TIFF, uh, TIFF file is pretty much um, your go-to uh, most on-demand printers that I've read and seen online do not accept JPEG or, or uh, uh, PNG so I would I would stick with TIFF um, and then of course you can always convert it online you can convert a TIFF file to a PDF file if you wish so here's the TIFF file I'm just gonna uh, call it that I'm just gonna replace the existing one so this this is the the setting how it should be when you send it off to the printer or excuse me this is how the setting is by default. 
um, well maybe it's on RGB so when you send it off to the printer you want uh, if your comic book is in color you want uh, CMYK now if and this is if it's going to print if your comic book is uh, online you want RGB um, if it's a black and white comic um, to the printers or online you want to go with gray which is grayscale this is um, it's like a, a, a gradient from black to white and everything in between but I'm gonna select CMYK because it's, I have color um, leave it on comic uh, for comics because this will um, this will rasterize um, all your layers and then combine them um, and you want it on preferred quality when you send it off to the printer um, if it's just for you so you can get kind of like a, a rough draft or something you can go with fast but there might be some um, mistakes in the uh, in the file when um, Clip Studio compresses all your your layers so but again it's just for you to to get an idea but when you send it to the printer do prefer quality it, it might take a little bit longer but it'll it'll be quality uh, and so you then you hit OK and so what we're gonna see here is um, we'll wait for this to finish okay let me let me do away with some of these real quick so this is what um, it printed out or uh, exported out the TIFF file you can see all this um, white space here um, you do not want to send this to the printer um, this is um, some printers will not accept this and some printers will actually charge you extra to format your files um, so what you want to send to the printer is just what's in the color red green and blue basically the the comic book page itself you don't want to send them the extra stuff again you can have it so you can uh, you can write your little notes and stuff as you make your comic book but so there's a way to export um, your page where it's just uh, what's inside these uh, blue lines and so we're gonna go to file export single layer uh, tiff and we're gonna call this number two Save. If you come here to the output range and you go to offset of crop marks, this will um, right outside your bleed zone. That's where it'll crop it off um, when it makes it into a TIFF, a TIFF file. Uh, again, leave it at 100% ratio because um, you should have uh, scaled your your uh, your drawing or your a template to the proper dimensions comic book and uh, if it's in color again CMYK for color did, did that do it or did I yeah that did it okay and so there it is um, there is the TIFF file and it's just exactly what you wanted no extra uh, white space and so this is exactly what the printer will need when they print your comic book so again uh, I hope this was helpful for when you export um, oh of course um, if you have multiple pages you can also do this in and the uh, I don't have multiple pages here um, but there's this export multiple pages uh, let me see can you you have to do this uh, batch export and so the batch export again it'll let you choose what kind of file uh, TIFF um, you see but it doesn't give you the option to crop outside the, your bleed zone so I think right now it might just be for a single um, so you might have to do this for every page of your comic book uh, but um, I hope this was helpful for when you um, create a comic book page you can create the actual canvas larger than the actual comic book page for 
whatever purposes you want to use it for um, and then you can export it um, to the actual uh, proper size uh, so I hope this was helpful uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up um, if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe if uh, you think this will be helpful to somebody you know uh, share it and uh, yeah I will catch you guys in the next one